we are looking at showing you how to advance some simple exercises like the physio lunge and the step down. Um, what we want to try and do to increase the work rate for the knee when we're doing single leg exercises is to improve lateral resistance rather than axial load. So what I mean by that is when you go into a lunge position, so when we, what we call physio lunge, so if you're coming down to this position here, we want to, rather than putting sort of vertical load through the knee like weights on your back, we want to provide lateral resistance because what we're trying to achieve is improving the work rate through the hip, getting the, your external rotation a little bit better. Because most of the problems with single leg and single leg strength is not just the fact of the VMO and the hamstrings and the glutes, it's actually how you functionally move. So whether your strength is, you know, can you hold that midline knee position or does your knee internally rotate or go into a valgus stress position which we really want to avoid. And this is helping prevent further knee injuries like ACL injuries where people are landing and if they're standing on leg and they drop, that's when those injuries can occur. So we're trying to improve not just knee strength but that functional ability to stand on one leg, maintain a good alignment and organization of the leg and through the pelvis and the spine. So the best way to do that is to try and provide that lateral resistance which challenges your external rotators of your hip and your control mechanisms in your hip and your pelvis to improve that knee alignment. Whereas things like uh, normal sort of squats and deadlifts and leg pressing and single leg work will help with your thigh strength, but what about up and through the hip? So for a physio lunge, get a band, one of these power bands, to try and provide that resistance that way. So we want to aim for, I mean you can't be too far away, otherwise it gets too hard. So enough resistance that way, and it's always coming inwards, all right? Obviously you're never going outwards, but it's trying to, the band's trying to pull your leg inwards, and you can see already that I'm, I'm switching on just with that lateral band, I'm getting more activation just standing here. So when I come down into a physio lunge, I'm coming there, I'm trying to control, making sure I'm externally rotating and getting that, not over my foot, but keeping in line, I'm trying to fight that band, which makes me work really hard here helps me stabilize through there so I can get into this lunge and when I drive through maintaining that nice midline position here at the same time making sure I'm organized up in here I'm not dropping down my pelvis my pelvis is level which again helps me to co-contract between the hips so I'm actually working lateral rotators to, for the band to keep my alignment I'm working the medial rotators to keep my pelvis level here like my glute med and mid all right so that's the physio lunge so working on the band and advancing the normal physio lunge. You can do the same thing with a step down. So, and remember, a step down is a one-legged squat. It just helps you move a little bit better when you're stepping down and backwards. Helps you organize uh, your pelvis a little bit better. So, same rules apply. You're doing exactly the same thing. Fan on the knee up here. Okay, and you don't, it doesn't have to be this high box. It can be a bit lower. But again, trying to be on one leg. Now, when I'm on one leg, you can see there's a wobbly surface. This is quite good, actually, rather than a hard surface, because it makes me work quite hard and improves my ankle control and the progressive hip control of what's happening in my knee. So great for those knee injuries like ACL. Trying to hold in, again, I've got to maintain a level pelvis, so I've got my spinal stability on, I've got my core bracing on, trying to keep my pelvis level as much as I can, which makes me work my internal rotators. And then the band makes me work my external rotators in the hip, and I've got to try and fight it from doing that. Right, it's the same as the physio lunge, but you're just doing a single, fully single leg work now, whereas the physio lunge was a semi-single leg. I'm trying to work on getting that movement like that, and that makes me work really hard in here. I've really got to be mindful and conscious of what I'm trying to do with every repetition, and work on keeping that online, and that'll make you generate a little bit more force through there because you're just keeping that alignment a little bit for that. Okay.